that comes with all the expansions. And we're live. Yay! Boops! What's up, you Linux-loving miscreants? We're getting ready for another Weekly Daily Wednesdays. Um, kind of a tight show. It's not going to be a massive show, but uh, we got a lot of stuff to cover. Kind of yeah. interesting. <laughs> so everybody doing... Okay, you got to tell me more about this. Foil... Morrowind is... If, if you scroll up in uh, Discord chat, you can see it. <laughs> okay, tell me more about this imaginary land where I would do that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's basically like two DVD boxes about that size next to each other. Okay. And it's got that big foil lid. <laughs> so it's like a collector's item? Yes. <laughs> People? And the one that uh, Mir got, it's like, it says $129.99 on the original price tag. What? I hope you didn't pay that much, Mir. <laughs> no, he got it at a thrift shop, so. <laughs> yeah. 198 That was good. That's one of the issues with thrift shops. You do find some decent deals, but you always run across at least one or two things. You're like, why is this price this way? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Then I have to go look it up. I'm like, why was that? Is that worth anything? Big box computer games, though. People are starting to collect those. Mm -hmm. You look mm -hmm. at some random YouTube channel and you see the YouTubers with the shelves. With yeah. tons of games. <laughs> and that is having a little bit of influence on people. <laughs> I personally don't understand, like, the shelves. Because, I mean, it's like... You you have an you have a hoarding complex. You shouldn't display it. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess let your freak flag fly. Or... I mean, if you've been building like a bit of a collection of the video games you really like, then you bought the boxed versions because you really like them. Yeah. How many boxed computer games have you bought? Uh, let's see. I had Morrowind, I had Oblivion, Fallout 2 was the first one. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Five CDs, that one. Um, oh. Neverwinter Nights. Mm -hmm. Okay, more The uh, Deluxe Edition. Uh... <laughs> Steve has, but <laughs> we're, we're counting. Yeah. Little crazy cup. Yeah. Okay, that's six. Good. I wasn't just waving very oh. slowly. <laughs> that was the uh, one you had shipped from Portugal. Yeah. Pedro. Yeah. It, it's one I found in a budget bin. Even back in the day, it was already in the budget bin. <laughs> it was a. I think it was a game. Um, Full on games uh, shop in the. Um, like the big mall place near university. Hmm. And it's like, oh yeah, broke ass uh, university student, but I want to play video games, so. <laughs> rubbage, rubbage, rubbage. <laughs> That's where I got my copy of, uh, I think it might have been, you know, it was Serious Sam. It was in the bargain bin mm -hmm. at a Best Buy someone had taken me to. I was with them because it's like, why am Because I was exploring. Because I never go in a Best Buy. I'm like, all right, what, what's going on? Then they had like the bin. I was like, wait a minute. I remember reading on Slashdot. That's where we used to get our news kits that yeah. uh, some dude had made it work with Linux. I'm like, all right, I'll mm -hmm. try that when I get to the house. <laughs> <laughs> so is, are people just not saying anything or? Hopefully they're asleep or doing something better. The... <laughs> <laughs> Steam bot, will I? <laughs> Let's see, see anything. Yeah, the the chat is quiet, so. Burp. There we go. <laughs> Bridge is working. We got some multiplayer yeah. game to do this week. Oh, was it the one you had at the top of the uh, the list? Which list? I have many list. The keys list. <laughs> yes, that one. Yes. The public one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Gotta narrow that down. Ven keeps mini list. 
good fit. <laughs> no, not really. Not these <laughs> lists. Yeah, I had sent uh, the email to the um, Din's legacy guy when we talked about it on Saturday, and he's only just come back, like, three weeks later. <laughs> Which one's Din's legacy? <laughs> it's a blur, uh, man. No offense to the game. Think Diablo-like, like isometric view? Oh, well, of course. <laughs> That's what I'm subjected to. All right, we're going to go live in three minutes and 50 seconds, Jill. Okay. <laughs> I guess I better go. <laughs> there was ever a time. <laughs> I'm just saying, with or without you, if you come back after that, we'll be in the show. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ha, ah, couldn't go full on dress. <laughs> yeah, that's a dress. It's just she couldn't go without full on sweatpants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's it's start it's not getting cool yet. I mean it's not blisteringly hot, but it, it's getting cool enough in the evenings, which for me is like midnight, but to um, put on like sweatpants. So I got to break break out my Adidas tracksuit pants. Says, <laughs> yeah. I, I forget I bought those. <laughs> the black ones with the white stripes yeah. on the side. You you put them on and you immediately feel the need to squat. <laughs> Man, that's stripist, alright? I'm just gonna come out and say it. That's what everybody's thinking. <laughs> No, man. Um, that was a pleasant surprise. And I do have like a... It's still not cold enough for me to wear my leather jacket. I, I tried. Like those... There were two days that uh, I looked at my phone as I was walking out of the house. It's like, ooh, single digits. Jacket. And I got to the office and I was sweating. It's like, nope. <laughs> hmm. It's always good to have that, though. But I have more. Yeah. But like, I have like a biker jacket that you could probably get away with wearing that up to like 25 degrees because this is no insulation whatsoever. Excellent windbreaker. <laughs> yeah. No, that one is like it, fake leather, but it, it is properly done and it actually tightens uh, very nicely around my belly. Mm. So there is no air coming in that anywhere. <laughs> Do they make, like, um, Kill Bill onesies? I'll wear one of those. <laughs> they do. <laughs> <laughs> they have to. <laughs> Alright, let me get something to drink. Yes. <laughs> yeah, roll those wheels on the carpet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought about getting one of those pa those pads, but I hate them <laughs> actually. I have one. If they're Do big you? enough, it's fine. You don't even notice them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, just measure out the area that you have, like between the wall and the pile of computers and penguin plushies on the other side. <laughs> and you're and good. Get a big <laughs> giant one. Yeah, that's the trick. <laughs> Because I've I've done small ones and they they end up cracking, you know, because of the carpet. Yeah, no, it's, because uh, the wheels are always falling off of one side and grinding on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this, this one I have, it's like it's like seventy five centimeters. It's about as uh, wide as this desk, and oh, it goes okay. a little Big further one. back. So yeah. Nice. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it, here, it, eventually. It has to be like that. Eventually, I need to get this room, and and I want to put like office carpet in here so it's easy to roll around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, less on the shag. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is from the seventies. This carpet. <laughs> you Still? should, uh, if you get rid of mm -hmm. it, don't throw it away. Uh, find a lab that's studying like ancient <laughs> diseases and give yeah. it to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My girlfriend um, 
<laughs> Every now and then she tells a story that um, she was uh, helping her mom like get the um, the carpet off of uh, their grandparents' house, and it's like as they were rolling it up, it's like tons of teeny tiny little insects just running away as the carpet was being rolled up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like bites. Uh, carpet. <laughs> I was really happy when I came to see this place. It's like, oh, there's no carpet. <laughs> and the um, <laughs> the real estate agent person is like, um, is that a good or a bad thing? That's a very good thing. That's a very good thing. <laughs> see, that's when you need to be able to come right back with the average amount of blood in a human body. <laughs> <laughs> which i don't know but ask me next week and i'll have that committed to memory it's just on the off chance i'm in a position to um like six liters mm -hmm. or something <laughs> i don't know dude it's coming up on october everyone it's kind of brilliant because <laughs> yeah. this is the year i do all of my interior decorating yes for the upcoming year. <laughs> not even joking i'm that guy <laughs> Oh, hi, Artharon. Hi, Basilisks. Mm. Yes, you are late, Artharon. <laughs> Very late. <laughs> I think it's about time to go. Uh, one, two, three, four. I do have the audio kind of rewired so I can give like Jordan and Jill. See, this is the trick. One mm -hmm. thing we do is Pedro's got his own box. He's special. Mm -hmm. He is. He got a little helmet on it. Oh. <laughs> That's why I have long hair. It's tied to things behind me. <laughs> you know, one of the fun things that I found out, I don't even know how true this is. You might need to Snopes this, but I saw another, you know, your bike helmets, bicycles. Mm -hmm. They have the indention in the back, and like everyone thinks that's for aerodynamics. And it's like the original designer had a ponytail. He was like, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> may or may not be true. <sighs> Guys shouldn't have long hair, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard that so many times from my dad, my grandma. Yeah, but your dad's a cop, man. Come on. <laughs> Look, he made me wear short hair. It's like, you're 18 now, you get to make your own decisions. It's like, all right, I'm done cutting my hair. I would have came back from first year university in braids. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big fan of braids, but yeah, no, it's like long hair all the way. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't until I started dating Nori that it's like, oh, right, let, let's chop some hair. Do we have to? Yes. Yes, we do. All right. yeah. <laughs> Nor Nori lets you get to a point, man. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Reseek. Finally getting around to sending out notifications. There is a bit of a delay yeah, on that. Yeah. I wish that was quicker. Why? Well, it'd be nice if it would if it would happen literally within seconds of us going live. <laughs> yeah, especially if we had a cock up right at the beginning and you tuned into a <laughs> death stream. <laughs> That thing is set for a reason. Oh, okay. I see you said it, huh? <laughs> it's, it's right around eight minutes. Mm. Okay. That gels I, with I the taco clock. <laughs> <laughs> you can still talk smack about it, Jill. Just know that I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I just, I just, I didn't know that you were hey, the Jill, one doing Jill, that. Jill, I thought Jill, it was just Jill. being slow. Come on, bring it. Let me have it. <laughs> I think it should be four minutes, not eight. <laughs> Good. I'm going to make it nine minutes next week. <laughs> Keep going. See if, you shoot, shoot for 10. Come on. <laughs> oh. Hello, Pennywise. <laughs> Hello, Pennywise. I think I had a new picture of Pennywise. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Sorry for the delay, but <laughs> it must be seen to be believed. I'm gonna forget uploaded. Yeah, it did. Good. 
Hopefully that'll be in the downloads folder. We'll find out, kids. <laughs> the suspense, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Sharing is caring. <laughs> 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 Well, since we're already alive and this is technically um, Wednesday, I won't uh, yeah. <laughs> name that. <laughs> you weirdo. That's an innocent picture. Uh-huh. <laughs> if you saw in um, Discord earlier, I posted a thing where there's a working fan theory that Pennywise and Mary Poppins are the same species of creature. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did see that. <laughs> Reasonably compelling argument. <laughs> I saw you post that link. I didn't read it. Now I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I had to read it because it's the headline. And it's like, sell me. Come on. It's like, well done. <laughs> well done. Cool. Okay. Yes. Seems like it. Let's do a show, everyone. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Jill wait four minutes. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's do it. That's working. Yes, that's working. Cool. Three, two, one. And welcome back to Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays, where we can sit back, relax, take a midweek Hello. break, uh, and just have a chat about what's going on in Linux, open source, this week, portable streaming pies. But more on that at 11. I am Vin Stone, joined every week uh, and mm -hmm. by Jill Bryant in LA, <laughs> wearing a hot, hot, uh, what is it, AliExpress? Yes. <laughs> Penguin dress. Yeah. Yeah. I don't usually wear dresses, so this is a big deal for me. But it had to be Penguin for the show. <laughs> and from the Isles of Britannia, bringing sexy back with that Stormtrooper t-shirt. Way, way back. <laughs> way back, man. <laughs> this is a five-year-old t-shirt at this point. <laughs> this is one Pedro Mateus. And um, hey, everybody joining us live. We're going to kind of jump into it, man. So what's everyone been up to? Uh, I know yesterday, uh, Boston Dynamics, they, they make the, uh, let's mm. just call them Terminators. That's what they're going to yeah. do. <laughs> they torture robots, yes. Dude, <laughs> yeah. man, they released like two videos. One, doing straight up like gymnastics. I'm like, yeah, okay, so we're doing that. And they're like, then this other one for like their spot, this one looks productized. Like This thing's going on sale. And you can buy it. So I had to make sure that I could, you know, maintain four miles per hour for 91 minutes because that little critter can oh, do that's three miles life. per hour for 90 <laughs> minutes. Right. Oh. So I wanted to make sure I'm safe on that during the morning jog. Do it up. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Cool. Awesome, Ben. Awesome. <laughs> All right. What's up with you, Jill? Oh, well, I had a wonderful time and very good entertainment last Saturday chatting with uh linda tepler sorcerer zero in chat and lola larissi we had a great time and it was like we've been friends forever we had so we have so much in common so that was, it was just awesome would you drink <laughs> no i drank, drank green tea you went on a beer <laughs> podcast and you had tea yeah, yeah. <laughs> as one does but it has caffeine in it <laughs> which is a big deal for me <laughs> Says the, says the person drinking water. Pedro, what's up? Yeah. See, my drinking's been cut down to uh, Saturdays. But uh, yeah, well, I, good news, I guess. Uh, the, it's more money I spent. But um, Soul of Air finally came back and said, yo, we got boots. It's like, finally. There you go. Take my money. Shut up. <laughs> no, give me the boots. So yeah, once they, uh, once they get here, I, I, I'm sure I will be very happy to wear them. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh man! Yeah. Momentarily, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you'll do better than that dude on um, Reddit's uh, Tesla thing, where he's like, "I ordered my Tesla and they sent me a Fender." <laughs> oh! <laughs> I thought that was a little dangerous, but you know what? Don't get worried, man. Until like the next shipment's an Allen wrench, you're like, "Oh no!" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
don't it's buy like your, ikea tesla yeah, right don't buy your <laughs> teslas through ikea referral links man they got the wrong idea good news everyone a program that i've recently learned how to use is at 1.0 to which Yay. i think a lot of people on the internet went wait it, it's not at a point release no really yeah wow. <laughs> oh and yeah, it's so technically a... still not there <laughs> yeah there. well this is uh the Ink inkscape 1.0 beta 1 is now available for testing yay we've been waiting a long time for this and last june we ran the interview of ted gould co-founder of inkscape from scale 17x who talked about the much anticipated upcoming inkscape 1.0 release and what's the one of the big deals about this version is they are moving to GTK3, which allows Inkscape to support high DPI on Linux. And that is really, really wonderful. And they've added new live path effects, extensions, and new themes, and a whole gang of uh, um, utilities and configuration and fixes and um, they are asking the community to test the beta and report bugs so that would be awesome i've already downloaded it and i'm going to be uh, sending in some bug reports it's really awesome <laughs> man uh, you gotta have a little more faith you can't download something and be like i know it's got bugs <laughs> genuinely really happy to see that they're gonna yeah. have support for high dpi displays because that has always been something you have to fight with with inkscape especially on uhd monitors which i have too and it, it's mice type like ooh, that that was genuinely my first google search after opening the program it's like we, we gotta mm -hmm. fix this and there's not like a universal like just in big and all the things it's like i make this bigger and i make that kind of bigger yeah really happy to see that it is a very yeah. cool program extremely <laughs> mature for something that hasn't hit 1.0 officially yeah. it's better oh definitely <laughs> <laughs> well it is the beta for that so what well, one of the things that uh, i noticed like oh theming support wait a second so when mm -hmm. i open inkscape for just removing that stupid shadow uh off of a certain um kde theme because mm -hmm. that's about the only thing i use it for <laughs> it's just <laughs> find the shadow remove the shadow and save the <laughs> thing and there we go now the shadow is gone uh and it's like it, it always looked so early 2000s oh yeah yes oh yeah definitely <laughs> it's like it's very square very functional whereas now theming support's like oh really i i, I oh. distinctly remember <laughs> first time opening mm -hmm. this like is this thing client-side java or <laughs> it could, <laughs> looks like it it, it had yeah, I, it's I, awesome. I know those feels that you're saying i i nori arts quite a bit has she ever tinkered with inkscape uh, I tried because uh, she uh, she said last year it's like oh yeah I'm going to have to use um, Adobe Illustrator. Mm -hmm. It's like why don't you try Inkscape? It's like I don't like this. Okay, then use Illustrator. I don't like this either. It's like well I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Order an easel frame. Well, I'm like here you go. Oh, well, I think my, my just, students uh, are gonna love it. <laughs> the new version because it's pretty and and it looks more like Illustrator now. So. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I like it. It'll definitely get you thinking with the vectors and um, fun times. Definitely fun times. But Plasma 560 90s out, and that's something to do with KDE. Yes, yes, it is. And speaking of betas, this is uh, the start of the KDE 517 beta. Uh, basically, everything that Yay. shows up in the 516 90 um, release will be as a sort of a test to the upcoming uh 517 which is nice uh that uh fine fine gentleman in the uh picture Aww. there uh, is guillermo amaral who lost his battle with cancer last year so they are giving him a major major props with the post but yeah moving on to the um new uh stuff that they're adding the S, uh, SDDM, like the uh, desktop manager, session manager, whatever you want to call it. I love the uh, night color it, overall, man. You can do it. Just, <laughs> if somebody doesn't know about that feature, just cut it on. Don't you can mess with people. Yeah. If somebody's like, yeah. you come back next week, they bought a new monitor. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, uh, SDDM now actually uh, is able to see the user theme and like set the same wallpaper and the same theme that you have going on in your session, which I guess it's better late than never, I suppose. Mm -hmm. uh, 
the they allow now for managing of thunderbolt devices like if you plug in several different uh thunderbolt devices uh kd will give you a little really nice gui actually that basically mm -hmm. gives you okay this one's active and it, it's in use this one is active but it's not a trusted device so it shows up in yellow it's really good stuff to see and another very good thing to see is uh if you've ever had to access a free wi-fi at like a coffee shop or something you usually have that portal that comes up before it mm. lets you through <laughs> to the internet in general uh and you need to say okay yes i agree to the uh, terms of service and on Linux, chances are you've had the experience that you tried to access that page, but it wouldn't show up in your browser, and you went to like mm. Google.com because that's usually the uh, the redirect that triggers it. But sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Mm -hmm. Now, when you plug into when you connect to one of those uh, free Wi-Fi's, KDE will actually give you a little notifications like, "Yo, there's a little portal here that's expecting you to do things," and just click the button. There you go. Dude. Just very nice to see. <laughs> so, as a diehard mm -hmm. KDE fan, I used to be myself <laughs> way back, uh, pre four point oh. That's a stretch. Mm. <laughs> what? No, uh, no, I, myself, I, a diehard KDE fan. <laughs> uh, when was the last time you used a different desktop? Um, today, mm. XFCE <laughs> at work <laughs> on the Precision. <laughs> on your primary desktop, you quit, quit dodging. <laughs> Uh, it was Mate, and it was uh, over a year ago now. Infinitely better desktop. Um, <laughs> I'm fishing for some hate mail. Uh, we got to come. No, uh, the current state. What I'm really getting to is like with KDE is because I saw some people talking about that. It, do you think a lot of the like ah oh, sluggish, horrible KDE still comes from that? you know, first rollout of KDE 4, which was sluggish and mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that horrible. was horrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And 5.0 was horrible when it first came out. It wasn't until version 5.16 that we're currently at mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that it became actively usable. There's still some niggles and K the KWIN compositor is still crap, but at least they're, uh, they're improving on it and they even got those patches from uh, NVIDIA to hopefully uh, sort out that situation. But yeah, th there's still some niggles there and I do hope they get them fixed because as a desktop, mm -hmm. for me, it's got everything I want it to do, including mm -hmm. like setting rules for specific windows. That's the big one for me. You go there, you go there, you're this size, you're full screen, you're this, you're that. Done. <laughs> right on, right on. Mm -hmm. And yeah, cool. I think this was actually really cool because... You know, the, the KDE challenges we talked about two weeks ago of um, usability with apps and consistency, Wayland and and apps um, being uh, found in KDE are being worked on. And this release mm -hmm. definitely does prove that. Um, like we were talking about the night color settings now work on X11 and its user interface has been redesigned. And there's been a user interface um, new user interfaces and, and a lot of the elements um, which have been updated, including displays, energy, activities, the boot splash, desktop f effects, and many, many others. So they're really holding to the word on that. Definitely. More usability and they kind of, Yeah, they <laughs> have to give GNOME some competition because, like I yes. said two weeks ago, GNOME for all of its flaws and they have many uh the like the apps yeah they're all in the gnome software center uh the like the consistency and the continuity between one window and the uh desktop environment itself it is basically down pat at this point mm -hmm. and wayland support yeah it's, it's very important <laughs> yes <laughs> Dude, that thing's gonna be crushing it <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> what are you talking about, Ven? It's right around the corner. <laughs> yeah, now. it um, really is. <laughs> <sighs> I want to believe, Pitcher. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what do you think the under and over of like shoving a desktop manager, do you think it'd be possible to containerize it? Oh, yeah. No? That, oh, we've yeah, already definitely. seen that done with yeah. KDE uh, with Flatpaks. Reliably? There, There's some issues. Do you think maybe uh, we could like, turn it into a snap? 
<laughs> you could. Yeah. Why you'd want to uh, is yeah. a whole because then I can make question. it number one at snapcraft.io where this blog is from. All of this in our show notes. But Pedro, tell me about it. Yeah. So uh, fine, fine folks at Snapcraft. Hi, hi, Wimpy. <laughs> uh, have decided let's uh, let's get like all the distros that are actively using Snap. Let's get a list of the most installed snaps on all of them. Uh, or at least the top six. Uh, yeah. And you see, <laughs> Arch! Uh, <laughs> Spotify is at the top. CentOS has got uh, something a little di bit different, but it's got Spotify in the top five as well. Then you have Debian. Spotify. Duh. Uh, Fedora. Spotify. Manjaro. Spotify. And uh, Ubuntu, <laughs> which Spotify is not number one, but it's number two. Number uh, one yes. being uh, <laughs> VLC, of all things. It's like, VLC? <laughs> yeah. Huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I know you might be thinking that's a weird flex, uh, but you know, stats track. I mean, it's being, it reads like it's being it's like for things that people really don't want to go through the trouble of installing. You're like, hey, yep, <laughs> I can just get it. it. It makes sense when you think about it as a portable mm -hmm. app, not really being a portable app, but it's mm -hmm. like I can just put this in, yeah. take it out. I don't have to worry about a system wide install. And Spotify comes to mind. I need to listen to music on the work computer. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, I was expecting <laughs> Spotify to be on like the more desktop oriented distros, but scent. <laughs> yeah. Spotify is in the top five for scent. <laughs> what about, I was expecting <laughs> Skype to be a little bit higher, but then again, I don't know. The last time we talked about the Skype snap, it was egregiously out of date with. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. most Microsoft Skype versions for Linux. But it's, yeah, uh, you do see uh, Skype in use in some of the distros. But the big one for Skype anyway is Skype for Business. And that's a completely different protocol. That's mm. Link. So it, yeah, it's the, um, it uses the SIP protocol. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and regular Skype doesn't really do that. So... It makes sense that it wouldn't be as high. Mm. Well, I think this was really cool because look at all these multimedia apps that are now being being um, used uh, are the top five for snaps. Um, this actually really shows that audio and video are working better in snaps because that wasn't a real issue when the Discord snap came out. The audio was horrible in it, and they mm -hmm. really improved that. So th things are looking up for snaps. They're, the performance is much better, and obviously and they're just running smoother nowadays awesome yeah <laughs> they're there that's uh on like iot devices server side mm -hmm. i decided to get it again easily make a case and i'm like that makes sense on the desktop mm -hmm. i'm not sold yet maybe it will be there'll be that one thing that snap does that's the equivalent to julian fries and I'm like done <laughs> that's brilliant so. You know, it's great to see Snaps getting uh, use, and clearly uh, people are uh, very, very happy with the Spotify Snap. Mm -hmm. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know, in the not-too-distant future, someone will do something about that stupid lowercase folder. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh, just saying. <laughs> right after Aww. they get done with, like, cluttering up um, dev with them. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, let's mount all of the things. It's like, but that's supposed to be a container. Shh. Shut up and mount. It is. You don't know what you're talking about. Go away. Hey. No. Elite mouse hacks, custom mouse commands in Linux. You too can do it at home in less than a minute. That's what this video will show you, followed by some handy dandy instructions from your friendly neighborhood old man, Vin. That's me. <laughs> what we're doing here is something that's very simple, but I needed to know whether or not I could. And if you have extra buttons laying around on your dribble, I'm going to say put them to good use. And we're going to do that with X bind keys. And it's not limited to like a single input. Now, 100%, my first thought was, here's the true, true of the story. I'm addicted to the Logitech free spinning. We call it the clicky scroll wheel. That's mm -hmm. a, that's okay. our advanced technical name for it in our community. <laughs> and it's just being able to remove any of the um, clutch from the wheel. So it just free spins. You can go click, click like that, just zoom down a page. So I was like, okay, there's got to be a way, because I knew I was getting this moon device. 
that, that that's a mouse. That's it's not a disease <laughs> loaf of bread, mostly. Um, or the eye of Sorn. It's got a tumor. Cut it out. Right. <laughs> so here's what I was thinking: was I have I will have like left and right click on the scroll wheel, you know, up and down. I was like, I'll just make that page up and page down, and I'll live with it because I got this for editing video. Turns out that there was a better way to do. It. I I found something better in Clicky Scroll Wheel, but I ended up still using it on this because I had functions three and four on the mouse. So now I have mm -hmm. page up and page down. It's easy to do, and uh, you can do macros. It's not limited to just I needed one command. I could do page up, Control Shift, Alt W, Butterfly. Man, I could go full Metal XKCD in this thing, and it might be him. Handy with um, games, Pedro. Like if yeah. you want to, like actually have an no. undetectable macro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it will be detectable because if a game is actually looking for macros and the developers are actively aware that people might be using macros to benefit themselves, they can easily like see how quickly each key is being pressed. And if uh, all three keys are being pressed at once, it's like, ah, look, that's a macro. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Possibly. It might be a thing, but uh, go play with it. Check it out mid-video. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have, if you're like me, you didn't even know that the scroll wheel had a left and right button on it. Like, what? Okay. So you have those two buttons. Go play with them. Do something creative. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Have fun with the gerbils. <laughs> well, you could script it to shut down um, and log off if you want it. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hotkey command. <laughs> Boop. Which would be, f I mean, see, this is my problem. I understand you're like, Vin, you're about to say something malicious. Yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to randomly buy to like left click on your coworker's computer. To power off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Make it right click. Don't, <laughs> don't be that gangster. Make it right click. So, um, go forward. Mm -hmm. Have fun with that. OBS Jill twenty four yeah. is out. We got some new hotness. Oh, this is this is great. So last month we talked about the OBS Studio twenty four point zero release candidate, and now the official version has been released with lots of updates and bug fixes. And they've added an option to automatically adjust bitrate when congestion occurs. That is really, really good uh, when the internet is acting wonky. And it fixed, they fixed a number of issues with Linux window captures. And also, I thought was really awesome, is on Monday, it was announced that Twitch is now a premier sponsor of the OBS project. Way to go, Twitch. And yeah, they know everyone's using, you know, OBS. So it's it's for their benefit as well <laughs> that they uh, <laughs> give them lots of money. <laughs> so. I think I speak on the behalf of like the internet, of, like what you weren't already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they. The, uh, Were the, you still banking yeah. on that extreme thing <laughs> yeah. working out? <laughs> Well, the developer was saying that they've been working with the engineers over at Twitch for many, many years. So this was really wonderful that they solidified that partnership. Dude, so. I thought that was like <laughs> very good. We are using, um, I compiled uh, 24 like two days ago, hammered on it. Awesome. I like it. And yeah, that dynamic bit rate, that could be very, very useful if you have unreliable intermittent internet connectivity, which... We've all suffered mm -hmm. at times, and being able to change that <laughs> dynamically is a great idea. And no, yeah. I'm not talking about your Wi-Fi. Seriously, people, quit trying to stream on Wi-Fi. <laughs> I see that question in the OBS Discord. It's like, I'm dropping frames, and I'm losing connection. Uh, but I'm really close to the router on Wi-Fi. No, no, just, just, just stop. Just don't. <laughs> One thing I did notice on this end is, I think Pedro, uh, no, it was Jordan that ran into it a couple of days, a couple of weeks ago, maybe last week, week before last with a game, is sometimes you have missing textures and it'll be out of color, out of sync. Mm. So that's something, like one game I've had that issue with was Rocket League. So now I didn't have to uh, swap the red, blue, do that swap or the awful list texture Mesa work around. That worked out of the box, which I noticed because I launched Rocket League and I'm like, oh, that looks bad and wrong. Good thing I knew what that was. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, go to properties and you can set that. I can report that deck link or black magic cards, the output, that's working fine. Didn't have any issues. I always like to test that because we're about to change some things that we're going to be relying on that hack to another thing. 
that worked. Um, one thing I've always been curious about, wouldn't you think, Pedro, that using dedicated output hardware would use less CPU resources than using the built-in full screen projector and just sending that to another monitor? Yes. Question mark, shrug emoji. It should, yeah. It should, yeah. <laughs> what I think, judging by that in the lag, is I'll, I'll have to go actually digging around in the code. I think they're using um, like a lo local loopback with FFmpeg. Mm. Oh, yeah, that, that would create a bit more, yeah. yeah. Lag, yeah. <laughs> That's definitely a thing. Mm. Anyway, that always struck me as odd. OBS web sockets, because we use tablets to do the switching and all that. That works fine. No problems there. And Pedro, you tested it streaming this is the first time i yeah. tested it streaming yeah the, i tested it yesterday because uh i was playing around with it beforehand and it's like oh version 24 is out oh it's in the repos all right let's update uh and yep it works just fine uh no unusual weirdness at least on my end so yeah mm. good on you obs <laughs> yeah wonderful <laughs> no i'm down with that um one thing i'll be putting together because if you remember before, there were packaged versions of OBS. And I know a lot of people are like, where do I get this? Well, I'm sure there's a PPA, but maybe you're wondering how to build it yourself or you want to build nightlies. I'm going to simplify that because it's been a while since we've updated that script from the dark ages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> to get you up and running. So Vulcan, it's not just for gaming. No. <laughs> no, it isn't. And... Uh... Don't you want to do the Streamlabs thing first? Oh, yeah, I got to do that, don't I? <laughs> yeah, that was right after. Because you did OBS. another thing. <laughs> See, yes. I don't like talking you about this You did three videos this week. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, if you're going to be using OBS, something you might want to do, and we're not talking about just donations, but we're just talking about overlays in general. Using Linux browser, you can use that. We're using that for chat and um, stream notifications with Streamlabs, but you can use StreamKit, you can use Discord. This is a more up-to-date guide than the one I made a few years back about getting your dependencies installed, how to get OBS browser, the latest version of that, up and running, setting it up in OBS and activating it. Then you too can have a dancing penguin. Yay! <laughs> there, are you happy? I did what I said in the notes. Get off my case. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, so... That's all very well and good. Let's get back to Vulcan because, uh, yes, Vulcan is the future and fine, the fine X12 folks. That the future, uh, bro. <laughs> Microsoft, I think even Microsoft is Come on, man. We're, we're gonna my, I'm going to get a DX12 accelerated desktop for my WinRT tablet. <laughs> you'll, I'm sure you'll get one on your Xbox. Uh, but no, this is Bliss OS. And Bliss OS is, uh, it was created, I think, they released like a uh, fully working version with uh, Google Play support about a year ago. And now yeah. they have decided mm -hmm. to update it uh, to uh, support, uh, what is it, Pi? Yes, Android Pi with Vulkan GPU acceleration. Yes, Yay! no more, uh, well, you do still have GLES there, I'm assuming, but the, um, the like the entire uh, interface is using Vulkan acceleration, which is awesome. And of course, this is an x86 release, so you can just grab an old laptop, which is what I plan to do, uh, load this up on there and play around with it. And yes, it does come with the uh, Google Play Store, so you will have access to all the apps, which is very, very nice to see. Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, in my experience, it was much faster than the Android Oreo version I tried a while back, about seven months ago. Yeah. This was much faster, <laughs> and, and it's much a, a lot less bugs, too, as well, noticed. I guess if you're looking for slice of pie, Android pie, um, Android onion <laughs> pie, with that little bit of Vulcan, do it. Uh, do keep in mind, one of the big features is sleep state, CPU sleep state, partially kind of work now. So keep mm -hmm. that in mind when your battery is <laughs> dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, putting your x86 uh, laptop to sleep, it's not the same as when you put your tablet to sleep. Just saying. <laughs> I don't take my tablet to the vet, man. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I one of the things I hope comes out of this is more developers pay attention and we get some proper, like, Vulcan implementation of 
if not X, then at least Wayland, but something over here in Linux proper land. What That'd be nice. <laughs> like legitimate Vulcan accelerated window manager next five years? Yeah, I oh, hope it's in the next two that. years. <laughs> yeah, hopefully under. <laughs> Optimism and stereo. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, in the next five years, absolutely. That's cool, mm -hmm. man. Uh, I do too. I, 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 I just think of the nightmare. For me, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about pipe wire. Yes. I think that's mm -hmm. going to solve a lot of problems. But, mm -hmm. not that, but it's going to be chaos time for everything that mm -hmm. we do here. So, yep. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Um, I don't even know what we'd name it, but let's talk about names. Hackaday's got a little bit of story. Yeah. On Floss <laughs> and, well, let's face it, uh, less than stellar <laughs> <Names>. solutions. <laughs> yes. For naming things, man. Open source projects have a long, sorted, history, cov, killed, and khaki games. Hey, that was KDE <laughs> for the first six years come on everything uh -huh. <laughs> that that joke was real man but you know we we do have to deal with things like gimp come on 100 yeah. percent. and i i was reading this article and this is just going through like some of the issues like naming projects getting renamed or maybe arguably being named something better and we were talking about just general graphics stuff. And I was like, hey, man, there's an open source thing called... It's like, I don't know how this person's going to take me saying the word GIMP. <laughs> yes, that's a thing. <laughs> so I said the GNU image manipulation program. <laughs> and when you hear immediately, oh, GIMP. Hmm. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> but they do talk about GLIMS, which is the mm -hmm. hard fork of that of the GIMP project. And like, hey, we're going to try to redo... The UI and everything, basically, like GIMP shop, GIMP, effectively. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it still confuses me when I see people running GIMP in all one window. I'm like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, GIMP shop that's is the good Photoshop for those... layout. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I, you know, the, in the, at the end of the article, they talked about how. Um, uh, you know, how how do you think uh, the naming convention should be under Linux for the applications? And I still feel feel it's the original creators of the open source projects that, um, that they created to name them. But it would be nice if they would get advice from other developers and the community. Because, <laughs> you know, some of our open source apps we love so much don't have the best names, such, such as the GIMP. And... Um, Elinks and Links, which are both terminal web browsers with similar names. <laughs> that, that's annoying. Um, and one of my favorite apps that I am using right now, the GUVC View video webcam app, is extremely hard to say. <laughs> I mean, they could come up with a better name for that one. And uh, Ven touched on uh, KDE. Yeah, KDE was originally the cool desktop environment, which I think is actually kind of nice. But it was renamed to the K desktop environment. Environment. <laughs> silly, even more silly things like you know the difference in between python 27 going to like python 28 and like no no we can't make we got to call it what is it thoughten yeah yeah really <laughs> really check this out man like python yeah go ahead do that clean break but don't confuse people python 2.8 let's call it python 2. Point weasel smasher 9008 yeah Done. <laughs> Then you're going to have that same issue with like Pearl 6. Better name for Pearl 6? Gary. <laughs> Solve the problems. Gary. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> you know, the whole uh, naming thing, yeah, if you've been in the Linux community at any point, you, chances are you've found yourself in that discussion. And yeah. like uh, GIMP, uh, there's now a fork, Glimps. Uh, which is based solely on the fact it's like, yes, GIMP is great, but the name is, well, it's a bit GIMP. I've so, always uh, felt like <laughs> if they would just own it and like put them in the mask with the zipper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down Actually with that. go full right, on latex. Right. Like, just own it. Yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, so yeah. 
as much as I know that glimpse and that name was uh, born out of the current trend of avoiding offense to everyone, it's honestly not a bad name. It, mm -hmm. it is a visual name. It's something that you glimpse with your eyes, and it is a image manipulator. So, yeah, yes, makes it, sense. It, that's a very good name. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly like that name better than the game. And this is one of the things you really do run into. But like when you first start a project, I get it. You know, let's come up with a silly name. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. this is never mm -hmm. going to be a real thing, so well, let's just call it something yeah. stupid. They don't, yeah, you, you that's know how that they argument. don't know. Feel free, I know somebody's going to correct me. And I was like sitting around, I was like, okay, we got to come up with something for the word GIMP. <laughs> what can we call okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what do we call it? GIMP. Right. Okay. GIMP. Okay. Acronym that. Yeah, right, right. We, we got to make it legitimate. <laughs> that was the night of drinking. Probably, I don't know, pure speculation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got to get into a slice of pie, but before we do that, a little bit of shameless self-promotion, and um, we're going to start off with our merchandise. If you want to support the show, this is a good way to do it, and wear something that will anger and confuse those around you. <laughs> Starting with Hell Elks, our three-face t-shirt, and the classic for this show, Weekly Daily Wednesdays, Francophile, Yay! and my new favorite, in the mail. <laughs> Lonely penguin. My lonely penguin. He, he is the new Linux mascot. Use me. And it's kind of brilliant. Available, as always, in our two primary colors. Dark yes. and not dark. So. <laughs> Strawberry and licorice. Strawberry yeah. and licorice? <laughs> They're a very good one to pay yeah. <laughs> licorice. You're a monster, man. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh we got a couple of other hot things. Just we got a support button right there. We have Patreon, Libra Pay, merchandise. We got wish zones for everyone. Bitcoin, <laughs> yeah. digital yeah. money, and a gang of affiliate links, including the Humble Bundle. And mm -hmm. uh, a lot of stuff through Amazon. Amazon's like, you can't say that supports the show, so I won't. Um, that's got a brilliant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> done. <laughs> Understood. But uh, the best way to kick us some coin, if you like what we do, it helps pay for the bandwidth, what we do on the show. It's patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast, 112 beautiful party patrons, getting early access to some things that we're testing out. I just did a hot, fresh studio tour for September 2019. If you want some of that mm -hmm. behind the scenes actions, we have several tiers and everything gets you access to our Discord. If you like uh, what we do here and just having chats, that's where we're at the other six days mm -hmm. of the week. But Pedro, I've added two new goals to Patreon, and yeah. one of them is just to spite myself it's kind of a dare <laughs> oh god what did you do <laughs> skyrim <laughs> we'll get to that well <laughs> the big one is one thing we're looking to do is because yeah. uh, pedro and i started out with a thing called meet the freemans mm -hmm. that's when we figured out we could play synergy synergy mod so we could play half-life 2 in cooperative mode like, yeah, that's yep. boring. Let's play it in the hardest possible mode and try to beat it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which we did. It, it, it was us. Admittedly, it, we had to skip a couple of levels. <laughs> that's because the levels were actually glipped, though. They, they were yeah. bugged, yeah. 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 <laughs> it wasn't from lack of track. Trust me, we spent an hour in those levels so or, until somebody could yeah. like, this one's broken. Duh. <laughs> So we're going to continue rocking and rolling with that concept of trying to get through a game on the hardest mode possible with Wolfenstein. Young Bloods. <laughs> we're going to burn okay. <laughs> a heretic purchase for your amusement and our suffering. Stay Aww. tuned to that. And a much more distant goal. I've been threatening to do this for like two years. I've never beaten <laughs> Skyrim. And I thought it would be interesting to try to beat it live with the help of community, making balanced interactive decisions. So there mm -hmm. is now a goal for Skyrim job. It's yes, I, I especially look forward to you asking, okay, so what should I specialize in and what should I go See, with? See, th that's what everyone's yeah. saying different things. Dude, this is where it's going to screw me over because I don't do the magics. I don't do the archeries. I do the like, mm. realistic. Give me a sharp stick. All right, let's do it this way. Poke, 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 I will poke, poke with the stick. <laughs> So having other people say, like, oh, you got to pick that and that, that it's, it's going to be a nightmare of endless, <laughs> endless entertainment that I'm clearly looking forward to. Um, all yeah. right. that's it. Right. Thanks everybody. Before Keep being awesome. To... What do you got? Go ahead. Bring it. Just uh, mm -hmm. need to uh, thank Simcha for the five bucks. Thank you very much. And uh, Hoggle88 Hoggle for the 15 bits. And uh, Evil you. PLA for the sub. 
Thank you all very, very much. <laughs> Yay. Oh, all right. Remind me next week and we'll cut on like the really crazy blinky things during the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We'll make it nauseating. We'll make it look for like three minutes during next week's show. We'll make it look like the people we make fun of. All right. <laughs> it's a slice of pie ladies and gentlemen because it's getting that time of season man uh i don't know if i'd eat that one i hope that was the template because if that's not i have genuine concerns about the person that took that much time but <laughs> streaming pie do it yourself irl Yay. streaming backpack with the raspberry <laughs> pi 4 and speedify channel bonding technology giggity awesome this <laughs> comes from speedify.com in the show notes, go check it out. But it's a backpack, what well, something you can put in a backpack that's really a lot smaller than a backpack. You could put this like in like a fanny pack, even hotter. It is currently limited to 720p at 24, not because that's a limitation of the Raspberry Pi 4. It's just when they've tested it at 1080p 60, it kind of overheats, Brad. Uh, no. Nah. Yes. So, Raspberry Pi 4 uh, overheating. Nah. Nah. I, listen, yeah. man, this, this is one of the first reports, so don't don't knock it. Uh, they are currently using the Elgato cam link, which is the USB 3 dongle. That, even though it's got Elgato on it, will work on Linux. It's just a V4L2 device like any USB 3. Yeah. All of those are going to work on Linux. Plugged in with the uh, Speedify channel bonding software to combine it. It's cellular, so you could take like cellular or USB network dongles and it just ties everything together and sends it through their VPN. Jill, what would yeah. all this magic cost me? Thousands of dollars, right? Oh, no, no, no. It, it's around $600. It's the, the cheapest bonded streaming backpack <laughs> you know, you can get <laughs> the the next one up was a thousand dollars more. And normally, you know, some of these backpacks are like 20 grand for this technology. Oh yeah, the old so, live views? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Do you, hey kids, do you want to go to sleep? I can walk everyone through this stuff and make them in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. So I was really excited about this. You know, we should actually think about making one of these for for our Linux Gamecast interviews and shenanigans at scale. I think this would be really, really fun to do some live streaming with. <laughs> we'll get to it. Yeah. What are you waiting on? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I was looking at the parts required and I'm like, hmm, Oh, I wouldn't build I, it like this. I'd build it much better. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> But yeah, those six hundred dollars for yeah. something like that. They even mention uh, in and we're the talking six hundred dollars like, in with the camera too. Yeah, yeah, yeah with, with the, the camera. camera. Yeah, uh, they were saying yeah with the the cheapest one you could get that's similar to this would be the Live View Solo, and that's a thousand mm -hmm. bucks basically. Mm. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that. If we could rig up like a shoulder cam so it's easy to chase people. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we can just chase Jill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. That's a brilliant piece of kit. Uh, before we get out of here, we do have something I definitely think we all kind of went back and was like, I remember playing that game a lot more expensive hardware. Mm -hmm. Yep, like oh, a yeah. lot more expensive. <laughs> See, back when this game came out, uh, I was still on a Pentium 4 desktop, but then I upgraded to a Core 2 Duo. And then it's like, oh, I can play the game now at a, re uh, a reasonable-ish um, frame rate. And this fine, insane gentleman right here decided, you know what, let's install Doom 3 on a Raspberry Pi 4 no, and see how only, much it I works. Mean, this has been done on Pi 3. B yes, plus. It, it was already uh, possible to play it in the Pi 3, but here they're playing with ultra graphics. All they've disabled were the shadows and a couple of the, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh. they're staring all over that video. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so <laughs> they had to do that because the GPU in the Pi is very limited. So they were hitting that bottleneck and you can actually see it. They have the CPU uh, and the FURPS counter at the top there. Uh, and it's like, they turn around, the FURPs drop by like <laughs> half, instead of 60, they're running at 30, and the CPU is like, yeah, I'm doing it like 25%, you, you got more? <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, the bottleneck there is very much on the uh, the CPU. And when MT uh, was, was the one who posted this on Discord, it's like, 
Yeah, I, I remember playing that about as well as they're playing right here on my old Core 2 Duo system with an FX... Yeah. What was it? Uh, I think it was a 5600 GS. <laughs> Man, I... <laughs> It was some old, I mean, this, it was definitely a video card before what you would consider a video card. You know, it was like that single slot, no mm -hmm. anything had a fan in the middle and video card. Yep. Um, but here we are, man, on an dollar computer. Now, is that that border, that would be like borderline playable. Yes. And if they mm -hmm. lower the graphics from ultra to like medium and they actually had like the lowest definition shadows, the game would look a bit better. So, mm -hmm. and it'd probably run a lot better too. <laughs> well, also, if they played it properly, that's where you just walk backwards into every room and start shooting. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot easier. That That's an interesting thing. Um, do you think the 4 Plus will finally get to like straight up 1080p 60 locked? No problems. With uh, one of those teeny tiny little tower coolers on it, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. That's what I suppose it's going to yeah. take. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you get experience uh, playing Doom 3 on Pi, send us a note. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can absolutely do that very easily by hit using our little contact form, what we have on LinuxGameCast.com. It's cleverly hidden under the contact button. And make sure you're, the show you're sending this to is LWDW. So you can also send some hate mail for that Saturday show, What We Do, or ask Jordan for relationship advice, <laughs> if you'd like. <laughs> but yeah, if you do have some feedback, if we did something wrong, if we did something right, if we didn't do something you'd like us to do, feel free to send it our way, and we will happily read it we right now. definitely take a look right at now. it. Now, we do encourage <laughs> yeah. everyone to, if you want to leave a YouTube comment, that's fine. We just, if you want to make sure that we see it, this is the way to do it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is guaranteed. That we'll Definitely. actually be able to read it and it won't be like lost <laughs> to the wind. So, Craig, man, Chips. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Chipsy had uh, something yeah. to do about Volumio. Yeah. Not sure if you guys ever looked at Volumio for Slice of Pie. Got a neat update where a bug caused an issue in a plugin. And they released a new version in like three days. Now, that's fixing your mistakes. So, what's Volumio? Um, hipster music player. Oh, yeah, cool. chip, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, chipster. a chipster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, it played flack and all the things. Look at that. that, that I love Ooh, that. That's oh that. Yeah. So smooth. <laughs> no, Joe, the, the ground's not shaking. It's just this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Fix your JavaScript. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I understand why uh, Chibs tangos with it because it's something you can run on a Pi. And, mm -hmm. you know, they, they had an issue with that API with Cubaz or whatever that was. And they were like, yo, let's get it fixed. And there wasn't like a, some dead project type stuff. So it's like, good on them. Good on nice. them. Nice. What mm -hmm. do you use to play your music, Pedro? Because if you Audacious. don't. Audacious. Hipster. How about you, Jill? <laughs> um. Actually, I still use uh, XMMS. <laughs> oh, that's even more hipster than me. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Jill wins. <laughs> yeah. It's still my favorite player. <laughs> but do you use the default black and blue theme? No, no. I go back I to the original Winamp uh, theme. <laughs> oh, God, that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you, you zoom it in, it gets all pixely. <laughs> Yeah, I, can, I can kind of be down with like VLC. Honestly, if I'm listening to any music like throughout the house on the Sonos, which is the only time I'd be listening to music, it's okay, Google. That's turned into my music player now. Yeah, no, yeah. tell Google to play some YouTube videos or play <laughs> some playlist that you have in your library, and it does a pretty good job, at least with my voice. <laughs> well, I yeah. scream at my devices all the time. Just, just it's like the... every now and then, it'll really is like, that that that's nowhere near what I said, Google. But all right, okay. <laughs> it it's no fun because I when I did that ad campaign for Amazon, they gave me a uh, mini Alexa thing, not like the big fancy mm -hmm. one, but the the Echo Dot. Well, the bigger one than the Dot. It's got a it's oh, okay. bigger in it. It's just <laughs> right. not like the big fat Echo. But that works when you talk to it. It's not with Google Home. If mm. it gets it the first time, I think it verbally. I'm like, thank you. 
<laughs> like legitimately I do. And I realize what I'm doing, but I am grateful. I just in case robot overlord, like save me. I said, thanks a lot. And, um, <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, last but not least, uh, Andrew writes in, KX Studio, Vin, if you haven't noticed KX Studio ha mm -hmm. has moved its repositories, no new updates will come for the old one, FYI, and the ISOs are going away too, to which I went to the web zone and looked in, yes it is. Vin, what's KX Studio? It's music stuff that music people music with on Linux. Portuguese um, people music with this <laughs> he moved yeah. to portugal so he <laughs> <laughs> oh he moved there why would you do that it was the cost of getting you out all right okay cool <laughs> a price had to be paid a token was owed pedro <laughs> but yeah kx studio is an all-in-one package i know i've recommended it on this show mm -hmm. for anyone looking to set up a multi-track interface jack and Adora and Sequencer's MIDI Sense or anything like that. And uh, yeah, Falk TX has been the sole maintainer of this project for billions of years. And there's been like a lull on hiatus. So this is good. It's still there. ISOs are going away, but they were based on like Ubuntu 14. So no big loss there. Mm -hmm. The new repos required Debian 10. I'm good on that. I'm not messing with it. I was tempted, very tempted, because, you know, the current setup I have is not going to get updates on that repo until I change the repo. Debian 10, production mm. box, unfortunately and begrudgingly, not broke, don't fix rules apply. And that irritates me, <laughs> as uh, I believe it was Ars Technica that quoted me on Twitter. It's the good <laughs> kind of boring. Debian 10. Yeah. Ten. <laughs> um, not just Twitter, <laughs> on Facebook, too. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe they did it on Facebook. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think it was Nori who noticed it. It's like, um, Ven got a mention by Ars Technica. It's like, what? Oh, crap, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yay. I, yeah. I social media. Like, I, I seven you're, social media. Sometimes eight. <laughs> you're a reader, Ven. <laughs> not a producer or broadcaster i can't read <laughs> but if you look in the interwebs you can still find uh, kx studio based on ubuntu 1804 it's just 1804 with the kx studio stuff pre-installed and the old repository set up so you'll mm. need to move the repository to the new one to find use new updates yeah if you have it installed right now and nothing's broken you're yeah. good mm. leave it yeah. alone do not touch. Unless you're like, hey, man, I want to do... No, it should update without any issues, but you're going to be getting updates to a lot of stuff, like uh, you're going to get updates to Jack, Carla, Cadence, and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. probably a door. I don't... I think a door's in there. Don't! <laughs> if it's working. This is like... Yeah, if it works. <laughs> yeah. The... <laughs> Jackbox, go watch your um, studio tour video. That thing doesn't have internet access. <laughs> All right. That's how serious I am about it. everything's working fine. All right. Good. Yep. Yep. And then it got imaged. Mm -hmm. We're done with that. It's one of those types of things. Hey, we got to bounce out of here. Thanks again for everyone yeah. showing up. And we'll be back next week. You can, you can't smash that bell. What do you smash on Twitter? Uh, smash that Heart. follow button, fam. The follow button. <laughs> a follow yes. heart. <laughs> yeah, there's a follow button. Uh, seriously, yeah. if you're watching us on Twitch and uh, you enjoy what you saw, leave us a follow and uh, you'll get a okay. notification whenever we go live. What, what if I don't enjoy? What What if it's mild interest? Then what do I do then? Um, if this was Saturday, I'd have an answer for you. <laughs> No, that would that that question would be like, so Pedro, what if I hate watch the show? <laughs> no, if you hate watch the show, there's a sub button there. You can totally use that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got to roll some credits, everyone. Awesome. Bounce out of here. And thank you, uh, yes. um, XLT1 for the the sub to Evil Pie and. Uh, that notification went away, so there's another follower. Oh, there it is. Gonzo2000, thank you for the sub. Hey, Gonzo. 
Yeah, so X Salty, he, he sent us up to Evil PLA. <laughs> Thank you, X Salty. You're awesome. He's been so supportive. Awesome. <laughs> And we love and all our producers. And thank you, of course, to all our producers, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and all our executive producers. Thank you for all and the love. And our fine, upstanding <laughs> cannibals who uh, keep providing some really, really nice hardware that we are really not worthy, but we appreciate it nonetheless. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think you're and watching you. the wrong show. I don't. There's no <laughs> <Aww. watching. laughs> Thank you for all the follows and hearts on Twitch and the retweets. It's always a good thing. <laughs> oh, come on. Frank didn't spend the whole show holding the uh, fight up sending cannibal wall for nothing. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> normally, this is nothing I show off. This is like a dedicated room in the house and I got plenty of house. So it's easy to have never been in a room in my house. Mm -hmm. But every now and then I'll be like, oh, I got to get something. I'll leap something in here and they'll walk in. I'm like, what the fuck? So, sorry for the language kids. But then they'll see Frick and the two times I expected from these two people, like, what's a skeleton? They were like, yeah, yeah, that, track, that tracks. That tracks with you. <laughs> eh, figures. <laughs> yeah. Didn't have any fun. I was expecting. Like, yeah. It's like, nope. I'm like, yeah. That's you. <laughs> All right. Let me make sure this is saved. In Enable my... notification so I can bring Christmas early. <laughs> uh <laughs> We yeah, were recording Barless. the show. We couldn't have yeah. all the bells and whistles, man. What do you want about? <laughs> yeah, Barless. Uh, then was going to activate that for next week's LWDW. So that'll be good. <laughs> the um, <laughs> if anyone's curious about how we make. Yeah. What? I'm letting you finish. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so if everyone's curious on how uh, we set up our notifications with, with subs and and the uh, text that you see in the corner for the subs, go watch the video that Ven made about setting it up under Twitch. No, I awesome. was going to say if you're curious about how we make podcasts. Um, oh, oh, well, there's that too. Yeah. <laughs> You, you did three videos this last week, so. Uh, FX boy, MCR? What's MCR? Hmm. I got a couple, but I can only see three of them. <clears throat> Oh, Manchester. Okay, right on. Manchester, Manny. Manny, you, baby. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I'll have to. Manchester. And yeah, everyone, if you'd like to see to see Ven's awesome setup and how he he does uh, Twitch for, uses Twitch and OBS for Linux, Linux Gamecast, you can go watch. <laughs> My Chemical Romance. There we go. <laughs> I'm down with that. <laughs> Her theory has been called worse, man. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, Ben's just cranking those videos out. There's three of them. <laughs> well, it's a 51 hour walk. Uh, <laughs> what if we take the train? Okay. Four hours. I'm going to say this, man. I went back and double checked. Farrell said Tomb Raider 3. What is it called? Tomb Raider Underground. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Was, I thought they said by the end of summer, <laughs> they said by the, they said it was coming in 2019. And I was like, wide birth yeah. on that one. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> That's why you asked last time. I said, hell no. <laughs> In the fall. <laughs> Here's the thing, Brian, is 
It's like, man, okay. We're about to walk into October, so then we're down to two months. Yeah. And it's probably going to be like a December release if it comes in 2019. <laughs> I started thinking about it because the Tomb Raider franchise is on sale right now. Like the first two Tomb Raiders they've done, I think the first one's like two bucks. Go pick it up. It's not, I mean, it's another great of a performance wise. You're better off running it through Proton. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> Second one they did uses Vulcan. Perfectly fine. This one, I noticed there was a uh, demo on it. I was like, let's see where Proton's at. Like, if I just picked this up out of the box, in worst case scenario, this game doesn't get released. Um, even on the 2060, not 2060 Super, at 1080p with everything whacked out of its gourd, it's good about 80. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's not good. <laughs> that's a, that's a high bar. <laughs> In the proton setup, click the play button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see the nineteenth and the twentieth for our camp. Oh me, you the strider. <laughs> you better come to our <laughs> camp, dude. Yeah, I gotta get Pedro there. I, man, good luck though. I'm still trying to get him to go across town to the Raspberry <laughs> store. Oh, yeah, Popey. It's going we to need take a... some planning, but maybe. <laughs> I've offered Try... to buy things for him. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like I said, it's going to take some planning, and I have to check, see if I can take time off, <laughs> at least on Friday. Maybe they're open on the weekend, brah. Yeah, it's, it is the weekend, but so I can, like, go on Friday and stay there on Saturday. Yeah. I'll have to sorry. find a way to do the show remotely or ask someone else to go for me. <laughs> you know, well, to do the show for me. <laughs> don't, every time you say that, don't you have visions of, like, Jordan on LTE and Finland laughing at you? <laughs> LTE in Finland is pretty good. LTE here is crap. <laughs> Well, you wouldn't be around for the type of people that have access to the internet anyway, so. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, all camp dedicated to Linuxy people, basically. <laughs> I'm just making sure the excuses are out of the way. Like, I can't find an internet connection. It's like, no one buys it, Pedro, but okay, bro, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll pay for your Uber. <laughs> it would be, yeah. <laughs> Aww. That would be a very pricey Uber. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll do a donation drive. We'll get you an Uber X. <laughs> oh, yeah, Pedro. So how far is it from you? About an hour or so? A block. Two blocks, Max. He it's walk. a it's... four-hour train ride. Oh, that, yeah. okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Train ride. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> On the other side of the island. <laughs> Keep boy it, that you can drive across in a day without mm -hmm. any issue. None. If I had a car, things would be a bit different. Okay, yeah. how much how much to rent a car, Cupcake? <laughs> Let's see. Give me some numbers. We can make things happen. Yeah. Because usually it's around sixty to hundred here in the US for a, a small compact car. Per Don't day. tell them you're That's American. Fine. They won't give you a manual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for you, it'd be like our, our trip to Vegas. It's about four and a half hours. <laughs> but that's in the middle of desert where it's 120 degrees often. Well, it's not so. expensive at all, Stuart. <laughs> Plus, you probably know how to drive a stick. I do. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> Try to get a manual transmission rental mm -hmm. car in the States. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, okay, that's not yeah. so bad. For teeny tiny, what is that? 
Toyota. Teeny tiny little Toyota. All right. Uh, 61 pounds, 19 for two days. Oh, that sounds weekend. about right. That's, yeah. See, yeah. problem solved. Do they have something slightly more f lethal? Oh, no, fun, fun. Fun's what we're looking for. Um, <laughs> I was just going for the you know, teeny <laughs> tiny economy cars. <laughs> yeah, FX boy for EVA. Uh, where are you would you be commuting from to go to Odd Camp? Mm -hmm. You could meet up with Pedro. <laughs> Let's see. Get Maybe an Pedro Audi SUV could drive together. for seventy four ninety eight. We can do it. We can get him dog camp. He's gonna work, but we can get him. Yeah, back. you need to do interviews, Pedro. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> then yeah, then you, you'll learn all about how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I think for your first convention, you shouldn't have to work. So. Oh, Joe, you don't decide that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I mean, yeah. Okay, fair enough. You could do what Jill did in her last convention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the car rental is not too expensive. That's mm. not so bad. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, X Salty One. I have never worn a um, a nice. I'm usually wearing, you know, one of my nerdy Linux T-shirts, of course, on the show, and so um, this is actually a penguin dress. <laughs> and I got it very inexpensively on AliExpress. Waited about a month for it, but it's it's awesome, it, and it looks nice. It's a it, it looks like a nice blouse, or <laughs> but it's got pink ones on it. Still and... rocking the sweatpants, so <laughs> they're actually capris. <laughs> a step up, <laughs> <laughs> sweatpant themed capris. <laughs> They're not sweat fit. They're just cotton, 100% cotton oh, pants. No. <laughs> they got me thinking about my track pants we were talking about. Uh, I like my Adidas. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, XLT. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I, <sighs> I've i been trying to find some nice, nice blouses with penguins on them, and there's very few and far between, and most of them aren't cute. So <laughs> it's hard to find one that's cute. Define cute, man. Well, just, you know, this, I have them like cute little penguins. See, they all have different faces on them. And <laughs> different expressions. See, here's a mean one. Here's, here's a Ven penguin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing you. See, the theme um, FX boy wouldn't actually be all that hard. I could just load the uh, El Cheapo onto the car with a monitor. It's like, there. <laughs> this is my theme. <laughs> Linux gaming on the cheap. cheap. What are you talking about? <laughs> for our camp, you kind of have to, if you want to go for free, you kind of have to propose a talk. <laughs> Just yeah, call it's me on an iPad though, and put me right? in front of people so... and do it. <laughs> no, walk around carrying it. <laughs> so I can look people in the eyes. But yeah, no, the, the theme that that would be taken care of. It's like, you want to get something to try Linux gaming on Linux? 300 pounds. <laughs> Mm. Doesn't sound like it would cause you enough pain. <laughs> we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so if oh, I'm donation. driving. We, everyone can calm down. I mean, I understand this is a smart move right now is to like cover any possible excuse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Pedro, you gotta go. 350 for the Lutris console? That's 
Yeah, <laughs> that's totally doable. Oh. Hmm. And I'm curious to see what that thing can play. That's still a three hour drive. <laughs> yeah, they did the Og Camp on uh, Floss Weekly. Ah. <laughs> I mean, if he gets boots, he's gonna wear his boots. He's going to wear his blue boots. Hopefully, he just gets <laughs> a boot, though, and I'll be happy. <laughs> don't do this to me, Solivar. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> if he gets a boot, I'll know one thing and one thing only: the check clear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, one boot's slightly smaller than the other. <laughs> uh, that's fine. I mean, depending. If my if the left foot is slightly uh, smaller, then it's fine, because my left foot is slightly smaller than my right foot. Ah. <laughs> it's like by, I think it's like two or three millimeters. Mm. This is one thing I have against... Um, I have some Italian loafers that they're just handmade. Mm -hmm. They're not the exact same size. <laughs> that left one's a little bit smaller than the right one. Oh, uh, yeah. There's something to be said for mass production. Yeah. So. All right, kids. I think we got to bounce out of here. I got to do video encoding and make podcasts. Mm -hmm. yes. And I stuff. have to feed Nori <laughs> and myself. Oh. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> and myself, yes. <laughs> no, be no feedings. He's like, eat of that. Are you, are you guys still like just having steak every single night? Not every single night. It's once a week. <laughs> by ex Exalty. By Rohit. By Artharin. I still want you to microwave by the Katana. steak and try it. <laughs> There's an eating category on Twitch, no. man. I will finance this. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> With, with some fresh ketchup. It'll be awesome. We'll do a cooking IRL. I don't mind the ketchup. It's just the whole microwaving steak. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be our new thing, man. It's the channel 24-7, which is microwave steaks. Mm -hmm. Different kind of steaks. Like wood steaks. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. we got to bounce. We'll be back uh, tomorrow, Jordan, with a thing, and I'll be back Friday with a thing. Who knows? Terrifying things. Check us out. Uh, schedule. Link to Skincast or link at the bottom of the uh, Twitch thing. There's a cleverly disguised link. All right, everyone. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Love you all. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Frank. <laughs>